Civil society groups are set to mobilize for mass protests on the 17th of September against hike in electricity tariff and pump price of fuel. The groups are demanding a reversal to fuel price to 87 naira to avert mass action. Nigerians have battled epileptic power supply for many years. After several years of reforms in the power sector, steady electricity supply remains difficult to achieve. Following the increase in electricity tariff and pump price of fuel, I visited some business owners in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria to see how they are coping. The story of no profit and exorbitant estimated billings is the same in most cases. At a business center in Keto, Lagos, I met Tola Omolara, who explained how she has to fill a generator set at high cost. She also laments that she pays for electricity that she does not enjoy, as she and three of her neighbors have to pay estimated bills, even during the COVID-19 lockdown between March and May. They did not encourage small-scale business at all, because it's affecting us. Most of the time, we don't even have lights. We have to run generator from morning to the closing time, which is 6 o'clock. For Matthew Onoloja, a phone technician, it's frustrating being a small-scale business owner in Nigeria because of lack of constant electricity. If I do, um, maybe I get three customers or four customers a day. So if I buy 1,000 or 2,000 halfway for a generator, so it's not easy. At this gathering, civil society groups are set to mobilize for mass protest on the 17th of September against the hike in electricity tariff and pump price of fuel from 86 naira to 145 naira in 2016 and 162 naira in 2020. Why has it become impossible, you know, to build new refineries? Why are we now importing even refined fuel from the GR Republic here? These are questions we must ask, you know. So, of course, we know there is a cartel behind this importation. Until the government demonstrates its will to break the cartel, then Nigeria will not be free. And that is why we are taking our destiny into our hands. However, President Muhammadu Buhari personally defended the recent hike in pump price of petroleum for the first time on Monday, adding that his administration made the decision for long-term gains. According to economic experts, the increase in electricity tariff and fuel pump price has increased the hardship of an average Nigerian. Many respondents want the federal government to introduce policies that will reduce the sufferings of citizens, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, which is still ravaging the world. Sharon Ijasson, TVC News, Lagos.